Alright, first of all we are creating an app. We are choosing the unique system name and some custom display name of an app. Let's name it Development Pipeline. Next, go to the app and to the database section. Let's create a new folder for our structures, name it features, and create there the new data structure. Alright, now we should configure the fields of that structure. The default field ID, then title, title of a feature, of a request, that would be a string, then description, let it be a markdown text, that is a kind of a rich text, then date of a request, type of date, we can set up the format of the date right here, we will remove time and keep only date. Then the link to the user who requested, who created that feature request and that would be a link to another structure, to the structure app users. Right. Next we will create a group of the fields. Let's name it Workflow. There will be two fields that describe the workflow. The first one is status of the request. It could be new, approved, declined, etc. And the second one, development status. If we approve the, the request, the feature, it could be under development, released, and so on. Okay, and one more that would be great to have some tags, for example, design, development, something like that. Okay, save and exit. And now we will create additional data structures, so called directories. That means that we are going to store such data as tags, statuses or cities, for example, in the separate data structures. That is a convenient way to, to manage it. We created data structure tags. Now we are creating the data structure request statuses. And one more development statuses. We will store each tag and each status as a separate object. Alright, let's create those objects. We are going to development statuses and add them. There will be three. Planned, then under development, the second one, and released. Remember when we were looking at future app architecture, we included in the status model two statuses, the status of the request and the status of the feature under development. And here we are configuring them. We are adding request statuses, new, then approved and declined three statuses that way and finally we are adding text to directory let it be some tags like design 
integrations and say a product. Later we will create a special admin page for managing and, and setting up tags. All right, let's go to the configuring data structure features and we change types of tags and statuses to links and array links. Tags will be array link, means that it could be several tags for each feature. But statuses are links. It means that only one status could be in the field. Okay, and set up the structure visible name. Let it be title. All right. We could add some features manually from the platform, but let us do it from the form. 